Every entity, such as the NBA, has its own set of guidelines and rules, and violations of those can result in bans in various lengths. There are numerous examples of this in the NBA. The league has imposed multiple life bans on individuals for a variety of reasons, including point shaving scandals, racist behavior, substance abuse, and many more. There were players involved in point shaving and betting scandals in the NBA's early years. The NBA, which was not tolerant of such behavior, slammed such individuals, even if they were in college. So here are the 10 NBA players who have been banned for life. The NBA has banned up to 17 different people for varying lengths of time, depending on the violations they committed. The NBA has banned players for life in the past due to point shaving scandals in college or betting against their own basketball team. Without further ado, here are the 10 NBA players who have been permanently barred from the league. Coming in at number 10, we have Jack Molinas. The Fort Wade Pistons selected Jack Molinas in the third overall pick in the 1953 NBA draft. He made his NBA debut on November 7, 1953 and played 32 games for the Pistons in the 1953-1954 season, earning a spot in the All-Star game despite averaging only 11.6 and 7.1 rebounds per game. Molinas, on the other hand, was permanently barred for betting against his own team. Years later, in 1961, he was the mastermind behind a point-shaving scandal in college basketball that resulted in 37 arrests and jeopardized Hall of Famers Connie Hawkins and Roger Brown's chances of making the NBA. Coming in at number 9, we have Richard Dumas. The Phoenix Suns selected Richard Dumas in the second round of the 1991 NBA draft. He didn't make his NBA debut until a year later, on December 18, 1992, because he was suspended for the entire 1991-1992 season for substance abuse. Dumas was suspended indefinitely for substance abuse after averaging 15.8 points per game for the Phoenix Suns during the regular season and appearing in the 1993 NBA Finals against Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. He later returned to the NBA for the 1994-1995 and 1995-1996 seasons, but the league later banned him permanently for substance abuse. Coming in at number 8, we have Roger Brown. Roger Brown is a member of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, which does not only include NBA players. Due to his ties with Jack Molinas during the college days in Dayton, Brown was permanently suspended by the NBA and was unable to play a single minute in the competition. Brown was a standout performer in the ABA for eight years, from 1967 to 1975. He led the Indiana Pacers to three ABA titles, and his number 35 was retired by the Pacers. Coming in at number seven, we have Gene Melchior. After four years of college basketball at Bradley, the Baltimore Bullets selected Gene Melchior first overall in the 1951 NBA Draft. Melchior admitted to being involved in point shaving issues while in college. As a result, the then NBA president, Maurice Podoloff, barred him and all other athletes involved in the incident. Melchior and Clifton McNeely, the first overall pick at the first draft of 1947, are the only players who did not play in the NBA or BAA, as the league was known in McNeely's day. Coming in at number six, we have Chris Washburn. Chris Washburn was chosen third overall in the 1986 NBA Draft by the Golden State Warriors. Between 1986 and 1988, he appeared in 43 games for the team and 29 for the Atlanta Hawks. Washburn, on the other hand, was permanently barred from the NBA in 1989 after failing three separate drug tests in three years. During the NBA career, the 6'11 center averaged only nine minutes per game. Coming in at number five, we have John Drew. Between 1974 and 1985, John Drew played 11 NBA seasons and was a two-time All-Star before receiving a permanent ban from the league for substance abuse. Drew was a forward for the Atlanta Hawks and the Utah Jazz during his 739 NBA career, averaging 20 points and 7 rebounds. He was banned after failing three drug tests. Coming in at number 4, we have Roy Tarpley. Roy Tarpley was a member of the Dallas Mavericks from 1986 to 1991 before missing three full seasons due to substance abuse. Tarpley returned to Dallas and appeared in 55 games during the 1994-1995 NBA season. Tarpley's alcohol problems persisted, and he was banned from the NBA in December 1995 for alcohol abuse. He went to play in Greece, but he never returned to the NBA. Tarpley was the NBA's sixth man of the year in 1987 and 1988, and he passed away in 2015 at the age of 50. Coming in at number three, we have Mayo OJ. In a more recent case, OJ Mayo was suspended from the NBA after failing multiple drug tests and failing the league's anti-drug policy. Mayo entered the NBA in 2008 and was named to the all-rookie team while playing for the Memphis Grizzlies in the 08-09 season. He remained in Memphis until 2012. Before being suspended, he spent a year with the Dallas Mavericks and three years with the Milwaukee Bucks. He has not played in the NBA since 2016, but if he is reinstated by the league, he could return. Coming in at number two, we have Tyreek Evans. Tyreek Evans was named NBA Rookie of the Year in 2009-2010, beating out Golden State Warriors legend Stephen Curry. 
Evans went on to play for the Sacramento Kings, New Orleans Pelicans, Memphis Grizzlies, and the Indiana Pacers before being charged with violating the NBA's anti-drug policy. He last played in the league in 2019 and will be eligible for re-entry in 2021. Finally, coming in at number one, we have Donald Sterling. Donald Sterling, the only man left on this list who is not an NBA player, is infamous for being banned in the league in 2014 by Commissioner Adam Silver after recordings of him making racist remarks surfaced. Well guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Athlete Power, and ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.